In this video, I'm going to talk about a medication called bupropion. And bupropion is a medication that's used for several different things. And I wanted to touch base on all of the uses of this medication. So it's, it's a treatment for depression, used as a treatment for depression. It's also used as a treatment for ADHD, which is uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It's also used as a treatment for smoking. And a few things about side effects. It's the antidepressant with the least sexual side effects. Sexual side effects. And it's one of its side effects is seizures. So with four clinical vignettes, I will try to touch on all four of these or all five of these points. So here we go. So let's uh, look at the first clinical vignette. A 28-year-old man presents to his primary care physician for his yearly physical exam. He currently smokes one pack a day and is interested in quitting. He has no significant past medical history and has no allergies. He is interested in smoking cessation classes but would like additional help. Which of the following medications will be most appropriate agent for treating nicotine dependence in this patient? Well, pretty straightforward questions. Uh, bupropion was approved uh, a few years back for the treatment of nicotine dependence, um, nicotine abuse, whatever you want to call it. It's thought to reduce the craving, reduces the craving uh, for nicotine, as well as reducing the withdrawal symptoms. So that's how it works. 28-year-old woman presents to the clinic for the first time with symptoms of major depressive disorder, lasting several weeks. She requests medication because apart from feeling low and tired, she feels distracted, forgetful, and unable to focus on her work. She reports having been diagnosed as a child with ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and dyslexia, and she had been given methylphenidate. Which of the following therapeutic agents would be most appropriate treatment? Well, bupropion is a antidepressant, so it's definitely used uh, for that. But it also is used uh, in the treatment of ADHD. So out of all these medications, the most appropriate to, that will be beneficial to both is bupropion. Next question. A 42-year-old man is diagnosed by his primary care physician as having major depressive disorder. The patient tells his physician that he is extremely concerned about his sexual performance and he is worried that he is getting older and that he is having some marital difficulties with his wife. Which of the following antidepressants would be the best choice for initial treatment? So this is a question where a patient uh, or physician rather would most likely want to prescribe an antidepressant, but take into consideration an antidepressant that does not cause sexual side effects. As we mentioned earlier, the antidepressant with the fewest sexual side effects is bupropion. And finally, the last one, a 22-year-old woman with anorexia nervosa and a history of depression um, for which she is currently taking bupropion beyond, presents to a new psychiatrist to establish care. She tells the doctor that she has been on the same dose of bupropion since she was 18 and that her depression has been stable, but she has lost 10 pounds over the last month and weighs only 90 pounds. Height is about 5'5". Five five. Which of the following complications should the physician be most concerned? Well, what happens with bupropion is that it can lower the seizure threshold in pa in patients. So this medication, this that we've been talking about, and when a, when a patient has anorexia, uh, she's actually or he or she is actually at increased seizure risk uh, because when people lose that much weight, they have these electrolyte disturbances. So anorexia can cause electrolyte disturbances. And that can be um, very, very concerning to the physician. So in this case, the answer 
which of the following complications for bupropion, and in particular with somebody with anorexia nervosa, is seizures.